Okay, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use iNaturalist. So let's say that you're walking through your yard and you've looked at your chickens, who are definitely going to photobomb you, and you find these wildflowers right here. Maybe you hadn't even noticed them before because they're so tiny. And you say to yourself, gee, I wonder what those pretty tiny flowers are. I'm going to show you how to use iNaturalist to identify them. This is what you do. So what you want to use is an app. It's free called iNaturalist. You have it on your phone already. You're going to launch it and you're going to use observe. And you just scroll in like you're using your camera. And in fact, you are using your camera. It will save it to your camera roll. Try to get a clear picture of your pretty little flower. And then once you have that photo, go ahead and press next. Now when students get confused, this is usually what they get confused about. So you press, what did you see, which seems a little obvious. And it takes a minute. The AI is working right now. It's going through its list of all of its natural flowers and it's wondering what it is. Oh, and look, it's come down. And this line right here that says, we're pretty sure this is in the genus Veronica that's a good sign. When it says we're pretty sure, then you know you're in the right place. So here are the top 10 choices. Let's look at the first one. Time leaped speedwell. Okay, is it that, you wonder? Press the I button. When you press the I button, you can see the picture. It's usually from Wikipedia. That looks like our flower. You can see its distribution. It's common here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now I can say, I can press select time leaped speedwell. All right, so it's done that. It's not going to be finalized until you press share, however. So the next thing you want to do is press share. And now what it's going to do is it's going to load it up right here. It takes a minute. When the green line is, is all the way to the top, you know you've got something. Giving it a minute, giving it a minute. Okay, we're almost there. So it's all well and good that your computer thinks that's time leaped speed well, but it really would be nice if a human also had verified it. So if you scroll down out of the things you've, s you've taken pictures of, or the things I've taken picture of, you can see that there's a little um, talk button by Red Dead Nettle. So let's take a look at that. That means that a human looked at my picture of Red Dead Nettle. And not only did they look at it, but they agreed that it was in fact red dead nettle. And so now this plant is research grade. And you can look on a map where I found it. All right. And so now you have effectively used iNaturalist. We're done.